Hey everyone, my name is Freddie and I'm here at Pure Intentions Coffee Skills Campus. And today we're gonna to take you through a little tutorial on how to use the AeroPress to brew coffee. I love this thing because um, it's easy to use, it's compact, virtually indestructible. You can travel with it as long as you've got water and coffee, you're good to go. It comes with a few uh, simple pieces. We've got our brew chamber and a filter cap here. We've also got a plunger and a funnel. Today, we've got a single origin Colombian coffee, and we've got 17 grams of it ground at a medium fine grind. Water temperature is gonna be 205 degrees. And first step is I'm going to take one of these paper filters, insert it into our filter cap here, and give it a rinse. Once you got your filter rinsed, the coffee's gonna go in there right on top using our funnel. I'm gonna tear my scale out. With our first pour, we're gonna pour 100 grams of water for our bloom phase, starting the timer immediately as you pour your water. As soon as you're done pouring, I like to grab the back end of a spoon, stir that coffee so that all of it gets wet. We're gonna wait 30 seconds for that coffee to bloom. Our recipe today calls for 260 grams of water, so once our coffee's finished blooming, we're gonna go ahead and fill up to that amount. I like to use a small spiral just to kind of break the crust there. Once we've hit that 260, we're gonna put the plunger right in the top of the brewer there. That creates a bit of a vacuum and prevents water from dripping through. We're gonna let this steep for a total of 90 seconds, followed by a nice even 20 second press. So the total brew time is gonna be just inside of two minutes. With this press, we're not trying to break any records or go for a maximum effort. It's just gonna be nice and easy. And we're just gonna keep pressing until we hear that hissing noise, at which point we're done. Again, I like the AeroPress because it is easy to use. That whole brew just took about two minutes. It's really nice, even, balanced, um, and a little bright, which I like. If you taste your coffee and you find that it's a little bit over extracted or too bitter, I recommend you grind a little coarser. On the flip side, if you find that it's sour or a little under extracted, you can always grind finer or increase the amount of time that coffee steeps in your brewer. Thanks for watching guys, and you can download all the recipes on pureintentionscoffee.com.